I guess that wouldn't. What do you think about having something playing like super quiet in the background so it's not like silence in us? I don't know. I'm not the video photographer. Depend on what. Well, I would be with like. Mm, I don't know. You shouldn't do that because copyright. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, true that. Yeah, okay. yeah, don't know. do that. Take your monies. <laughs> you know, I work for nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It'd be cool though, but yeah. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> just pretend like we're just sitting here talking and not even like okay. you know what I'm saying. Actually, you get. Did you already start the? Yeah, I already started recording. So okay, I was like, gonna say just it. start talking yeah. and then do an introduction because can't you like. Yeah, I guess cut to the thing. Exactly. Yeah, so. Exactly. So what were we just talking about a minute ago? Uh, well, I think something about the 90s thing and all that shit. All right. So, so let's talk about dating in this day and age. Well, just podcast first. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Welcome to this DC podcast. I'm DC, owner of this channel. You know what I'm saying? Here's my guest, Fia. Say hi, Fia. Hi. All right, so... Let's talk about um. Let's talk a little bit about you, so they can get to know you better. Cause they they know okay. me. They watch the channel, so they already know what I do. All right. So talk well, about how do you know show. me? Well, I know you because we met about three years ago. Mm -hmm. So we met at the beach in Los Angeles. Uh, my son was there. It was, it was when I was coming from Hawaii. Let's go for barracks. Uh, I was on my way to transition to Fort Bliss, Texas, and me and my son were on the beach on a good day. Then my son ran over to your <laughs> your blanket with your daughter and uh, stuff. Yeah, he's. He's quite the kid. Yeah. I definitely, I noticed him. He's very unique, very special. Yeah, that was a good yeah. fun day. I guess we just had like a little soul thing going on. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much like when we first met, it was like, we, we could tell that we had a good connection. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was so funny because I was really nervous when my son went over there. Cause I, <laughs> <laughs> cause I, I remember was, that. I was I like, oh my gosh, I was so and okay. I was thinking like, oh cool, look at this adorable child and the good looking dad. Great. <laughs> that was a that was definitely a fun, a fun day though. I think that was the first time that I took my son to the beach outside of Hawaii too. Like the first time he really like got in the water because before he was more he was too small, you know? So we didn't really get in the water. We, you know, got in the water a little bit, but he wasn't really feeling it as much. But there he was having a blast. So <laughs> I noticed that and actually that was something I noticed about you before I knew you and then after I got to know you it just was very impressive because I remember like a lot of people nowadays are not paying that much attention and I'm sure we'll talk about this with the dating topic but mm -hmm. I remember your son just like wanting to go crazy on the beach and ah, you know yeah. <laughs> running down the water and like you were not paying attention to anything else. No. You didn't seem like you cared. You didn't seem like you were there to impress anybody or like I loved that your attention was on your kid and I noticed that the whole time. Yeah. And that's so important, you know. That's why like for me I have a passion as you know for teenagers, you know, teenagers that have been through trauma and what they've been through in their life and how that affects them, but people don't realize simply not to get off of what we were going to talk about, but simply the fact that when there's one parent not there, it greatly affects the children. Yeah, I agree. Greatly affects them. And after that, you know, with us talking, we live in two different states. I live in mm -hmm. Idaho. Would rather not, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back to California, you know, where I feel... I love the energy there. People yeah. talk a lot of shit about California, but man, you can't... There's a lot of places you can't just go and like you randomly meet people whether they're old or young or whatever and just yeah. they talk to you and it's it's creative, it's positive, you know? I love that. That's good. Yeah. I think, when was the last time I actually met somebody in California? I don't remember. Because before I joined the army I was into the music thing. I was meeting a lot of people then but I was networking so I met a lot of cool people in California so I do agree on that. I met a lot of cool people in California. The oh, yeah. one? I mean... I did, yeah. well, it's that reason, mostly networking and stuff, but it's like there's so many places that you can actually meet people that are real friendly. Hawaii was one of those places, California is one of those places. Oh, yeah. Here is like kind of like... Yeah, eh. Boise is like weird too like that. I yeah. think it's getting taken over by Californians, so there's a little bit more diversity and everything, but being a Middle Eastern woman who most people assume is Mexican, you know, <laughs> growing up in a place like Ventura, California, 
you just fit in, you know, I, I just did. Although I never felt like it because you've got like big group of white people, big group of Mexicans, some Asians, and then being Lebanese and not having my Lebanese father around in my culture, I did always feel out of place. But at least it's a more work, welcoming spot than, than Boise. That's good. There's not a yeah. lot of places that are, there's some places that are not so welcoming. They look at you like you're just, it's one part to feel like an outcast, but then to be treated like an outcast is like totally different. Like, that's yeah, not it's, a good point. It's hard. I'm pretty sure we've all been there before. So. Depending on where you go, you'll experience it. It doesn't matter if you're white or whatever, you know, it depends on the spot where you live. But yeah. Okay. So let's go to our first topic. So. <laughs> like that. Like the interview foot. No, it's like. <laughs> I know. I feel like I should kick off my shoes and you know lay down on the couch or something. No. All right. So the first topic, or one of the many topics that we're going to talk about today, is relationships in these days. So can you tell me a little bit about your experience with relationships, just in general? Uh, uh, yeah. So I, I am a little bit older. I'm turning forty six this year. So I come from a different generation, which. I miss those times, I really do. Generation X, um, we're known for our loyalty, you know, our hard work, kind of sticking through things. I think they kind of called us like the first lot key, you know, major um, divorce, like families, so a lot of us grew up alone. But growing up in the 90s was amazing, and growing up in the 90s in Ventura near Los Angeles was amazing. I had a very rough childhood, but the one thing that was really cool was where I was at. You know, I got to be like 45 minutes away from NWA, Easy e I mean, there was the Rodney King beatings, that's not so positive, but you, you experience like, like this cultural richness. and. When I was growing up, you met people kind of like we were talking about, which is probably why we're still good friends. Mm -hmm. You know, you're just there, I'm there, we talk, and like, the one thing that I miss is back then, you know, you met, met people at the mall, <laughs> or, or Magic Mountain or whatever, you know, theme park. But, good old days. Yeah, but the thing was, was like, it was like from that point, there was a commitment. There was like a commitment to get to know that person. And then they either became your boyfriend and girlfriend or, or girlfriend, not both. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was all around. Yeah. <laughs> no, but these but, days, you know. Yeah, it just, it was either a thing or it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't like, you know, all this stuff on your phone. Like it's so, I mean, cheating always existed. Don't get me wrong, yeah. but it wasn't. Like, it, it's like a board game nowadays. You have six players, you know, cha-ching, poof, there's another player on your board. Yeah. And I don't like being treated like that, you know? So I, quite frankly, just don't date anymore. Yeah. I think that started, like, in when I was pretty much, uh, probably, like, high school. That's when it, like, the dating changed. Because when I first grew up, probably, like, I mean, I wasn't date, well, I guess I was, in elementary. <laughs> When I was five years old, yeah, no, like my that, first but like, like back when like relationships are like real relationships, I would feel for myself, not just oh you're cute, oh you're cute, oh let's go out, you know, like that's like yeah. middle school, high, uh, middle school elementary type thing. But like when I got to like high school and I graduated, that's more when everything changed over to a lot more technology. When yeah. MySpace came out, and I think I forgot this other, uh, there was this other one, like huh? what was it called Crush something. It was some kind of other website. It was like when MySpace, it wasn't as popular, but it was still okay. like, you know, there it's was... like Instagram and Tumblr. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> people know Tumblr, but people don't really use it, but people use Instagram. So that's how right. it was. So that's when a lot of the dating changed uh, in, in my life and in my generation. Yeah. So it used to be, I remember before, and well, I guess we could just transfer this over to like this social media aspect. Back when I was growing up, back when everybody had sidekicks and razors and stuff. Like, <laughs> like back when we used to get like certain pictures from people of age. Oh, you guys are the same age. So let's make that clear. You know, like it would be like it would be something special about it. You know, like it's not where everybody can see it. It's like when you seen it or where you got you got like as, at least as a dude, like you got hyped up. Oh snap! She sent me like a cute picture, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But nowadays when you have like all these new social media, Instagram and stuff like that, like you just see that stuff everywhere. So for me, it's just. I see it so much, it's just like numb to my brain, you know? Like, it's just like, okay, 
some side of you, but want to just don't follow you because you're only posting that for attention. So there's nothing in this day and age special about it. But when I was growing up, it was just like, oh wow, you know. I'm not sure if the younger generation feels like that now from I what their growth is seeing. Like, I don't think but I think so. a lot of it is like, um, like they are addicted to the attention. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And Absolutely. a lot, a lot of people that I've heard speak about this say like attention nowadays is like yeah. the biggest drug right now. Uh, yeah, I agree. I and agree. It's, yeah, it's not something you like take. It's just yep. people don't realize that that we. We live a lot of times by emotional addictions. And one person, um, speaker, author that I love, I like, I listen to so much of his stuff is Joe Dispenza, and he talks about emotional addictions. Being a victim is a huge emotional addiction. And I, and I can relate to that. You know, it, it doesn't mean you're like, a, oh, poor me person. You can be very, very angry, like I was, you know, mm -hmm. getting in fights and all that stuff. But you're addicted, you you know, maybe you were a victim in your childhood of abuse or whatnot, <clears throat> and then you get older and it's like, oh, my boss sucks, they don't like me, guys suck, everybody sucks, you know, and, and nothing is your fault, and until you kind of work on that emotional addiction and, and change that in here, like, it's not like, oh, positivity, you know, let's think positively, like, you... It, it takes work. It really takes work to change that. So yeah, I do think it is an addiction and people don't realize that unless you're actually studying the mind and that kind of thing intentionally. I don't really think that crosses people's minds. Not at all, especially the things that I see. You, well, you've probably seen it, but I follow a lot more yeah. variety of people because I'm in a younger generation. So I still, I have people like that are a generation behind me that I see dealing with things and True. People do like the crazy, it's like the more I get on social media, the more crazy things that I see of what people would do for attention. He said like, I don't know if you heard like guy Bone Gang or whatever. Say what? This guy named Bone Gang. You probably don't, okay. I guess so not. he used to like, <laughs> so he used to do things that like, just crazy to get attention. He used to steal from stores, go in oh. restaurants and get on tables and just make a ruckus and stuff like just for social media. Well, and got, damn, man, I wish I could have gotten paid for that shit when I was young. <laughs> Well, I mean, he went to jail too. But, oh, yeah. You know, but it's like the crazy things people would do for attention. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's not, a lot of the times it's never like adding up to a profit or money or income. It's just, oh, people know me. I got a million subscribers or a million uh, uh, followers, but it's not adding up to you for $10. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's when the suicide rates went way up. And I'm, I'm sure they still are, but when it really, the, um, there wasn't really that much suicide in the preteen age, like, you know, say 11 to 13 until mm -hmm. Facebook, I think it was, what, 2009 or something like that. It went up like 151% or something outrageous. Yeah. But yeah, it's true. And that it's like nothing special. And I, I feel very privileged to have been able to grow up like that. And although I did have a hard childhood. My father wasn't a very good person, but he did come from another country. We did have different, what's the word, um, the way, like morals, I guess. I don't even know if that's right, but um, expectations, like me personally, more is intriguing. Like I, if somebody sends me a picture, which I did not ask for, okay? <laughs> that happens a lot these days. So I did not ask for that, but you just took it upon yourself for me to see your whole entire body. Even if it's an attractive person, I'm like instantly turned off personally, you know? And I feel like there's, we're missing the mystery. We're missing the sexual tensions going on back onto the dating topic. It is so weird to go out with somebody and they're looking at you like, okay, we had like a semi date. I didn't even do anything that special for you. So why are your clothes still on right now? Yeah. Why? I don't. I don't fucking know you. I don't. Know, you know? <laughs> like, like literally. Okay, sure. It really is. They look at you. I mean, even one of my girlfriends who's like my age and she's very beautiful. She's very pretty, but. She said one time she went out with some guy and like he literally smacked her on the ass and was like, okay, are we going to my house or your house? And she was Stop. like, and not even trying to, it's not like you took her to some fucking high-end restaurant. You're talking like some 
cheesy ass place. You know I mean? But <laughs> right, uh, yeah, yeah. Here, here's the thing. This is what this is what it really is. Whether people want to face it or not, people want free fucking prostitution. That's what they want. Or cheap prostitution. Yeah. I mean, a lot of these women are, at least from what I see, they're portraying themselves to be prostitutes and not ever know it. I don't understand what, like... I can accept. So, so you're, you're saying one side, yeah, I see yeah. that. Yeah, so... Sure. If you're going to act like something, you're going to get treated like it. I exactly. agree. It's both, it's both sides. You yeah, know? and that goes to me, like, from what I see, that goes from what I see women posting provocative photos. Yeah. Every time you post a picture, it's always of your ass, or you're always... Really? You know what I'm saying? Twerking videos and stuff like that, revealing like there's no secret. Like I know what your ass looks like. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I know yeah. what your breasts everything. look like. You know, I, I know what everything looks like. But you want somebody to respect you, like, that and that in the same way as like, for me, I don't know how other men feel, but for me, I feel like a real man's not gonna wanna, or a man that's gonna want you and care for you and be with you seriously, yeah. is not really gonna take you seriously if you're showing everybody your goods. Like, what's so special about you, like? Not necessarily just because you're showing for goods, but yeah. it's just like, I feel like you just lower your value as a person by just flaunting your goods, you know? And it's different, like, I, it's, yeah. I don't want to, like, say as far like anybody, because there's some people that do it professionally, like modeling and stuff like that. So it's like, okay, but when you're just like, you work at Good Burger. <laughs> and you're on social Whatever media, you like, just showing your butt. You know what I'm saying? Just because, like, it's just like... Because that's what everyone's doing. Yeah, and then everybody gets the attention. Everybody wants to, it goes back to the attention thing. Like, yeah. I feel like they feel like they're not valued unless you're getting attention from everyone. And don't, don't men miss women looking, like, without injections everywhere and your eyelashes looking like spider legs, like, way up to here and... You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know, but I do. Like, I look at people's pictures, and I'm, I'm not criticizing anybody individually. I just think it's sad, you know, that we have to, like, do so much to ourselves. You know, you should value yourself. You should want to be in good health. You, you know, I want to look good because I like myself, but that doesn't mean I'm going to shoot shit all over my body and look like... First of all, if your body is not that shape, take who you are. And this just, I, you know, coming from health and personal training, and that, those are my passions. Mm -hmm. So for me, I just look at it and go, you need to value, like, your uniqueness and your individuality, and you build off of what you have. As a Lebanese woman, I'm, I'm petite, you know. I don't, I don't look like that to try to make everything, like deformed but it's deformed yeah. like what is so fucking sexy about looking deformed i don't understand that you know the thing with that is because they get the attention from men who like that you know what i'm saying but they're not valued no because now you just look like something they just want to have sex with other than the person they want to really get to know you know what yeah, i'm saying exactly. so it's like some people do it for certain reasons they want to you know self-conscious or whatever oh i don't want to do my tummy tucked or my boots are going to lift them up a little bit. That's Stuff like that's like a little bit different. Yeah, you know? and then some people just do it just to do it, which I don't knock them. You, you know, we all have our. You can do what you want with your life, but yeah. at the end of the day, everybody has their opinion. And if you really want to attract somebody that's really going to value you, mm -hmm. like you have to bring more than just sex to the table. I feel. Yeah. Oh yeah. So speak. Speaking on that, I know. If you just listen to people, you know, friends, whoever, like on what men complain about and what women complain about, you know, from the woman's side, it's, it's that, what I said, how you don't even know me. You didn't even take me out on any kind of real date, you know. And then when I first meet someone, let's go for a walk in the park. I don't, I don't care about, you know, the fancy dinner thing or or whatever but I mean if you're gonna try to make someone feel special and get to know them and then have sex you know what I mean there's got to be some kind of it doesn't matter if it's flowers for God's sake and taking someone for a walk but that's kind of the women thing that I hear about is is just that like guys are just not even putting in any effort you know what I mean what do you hear from is that like the one around your age or specifically so, yeah. I mean, I have a friend that's 30. I've got friends of all ages, so, you know, I mean, I, I don't really have a lot of 20-year-old 
women in my life except for my daughter. She's turning 21, but she's not actively dating, so she's a little bit different. But um, 30s, 40s, I can't speak for the 20s. I don't really know how they feel, you know. Oh, but... I see. Okay. <laughs> a lot of women are more attracted to your wallet than they are to you. So how you're saying, like, oh, right. walk in the park I've and stuff like that? that? No, they don't want to get no walk in the park. They're like, <laughs> what can you buy me? What are you going to take me on this date? Now they're talking about, I just seen this post. I don't know if I told you about this before, before this oh, podcast. Yeah. But i seen this post, and I've seen several women post this. And it said, uh, I'm going to just paraphrase, because I'm going to word by word. Mm -hmm. But it pretty much said, if you like me, like pretty much like if you like me, that's cool. Let's talk about it on a vacation. So it's like, oh, yeah, how am I going to take you on a vacation? That's what? creepy. You, yeah, first of all, that's like, what the hell? <laughs> like, <laughs> throw you over the boat. Yeah, like, you really don't care that's about hot. your safety too much. So like, no. I'm not sure how many women are serious about it, but I'm pretty sure some of them are because I've seen that several times already on my feed. And that's not yeah. just on Instagram, it's on most post yeah. social networks. So they really care about what you can do for them and where you can take them before they get to know you. So they're not really trying to get to know you. They're trying yeah. to see, from what I can tell as a man, what can you give me and let me see if I like it from that. It's yeah. like, dang, I'm like, we're not going to talk on the phone and we're not going to get to know each other. You're just like, oh, we're going to get to know each other while we're in freaking the Bahamas or something. Like, how does that work? Like, not very well, because I guarantee you, if you, like, even, even if someone that lived here in your town came over and just spent a weekend with you like that or a week, like two strangers being in the same place, I I don't think it's going to work out very well. It might start out okay, but you don't know anything that you have in common or anything. But And I agree, we do have that issue. I really, like, if you are hearing so many people say the same thing, that there is an issue. On the flip side, though, like what we said from a woman's point of view, not a 20-year-old, though, or 25 or whatever, so they may feel that way. I can't speak for them. But for, for me personally, um, one thing that I've seen is men are not present, even when they're there, you know, and I've had guys my age that have a lot of money say to me like, oh, women just want to date me for my money. You know, I was, I was talking to one guy in Chicago, or not in Chicago, he lives in Chicago, I live in Idaho, and he approached me like, oh, you're so interesting, I really want to get to know you, seriously. Like, I want to see us date. Okay, this is a stranger saying this. And then there's no consistency. What, like, you're there, you're not there. You know what I mean? And you want to be serious with me, who you've never met, but you're definitely not showing it. But he did end up telling me, eventually, he owns, like, three apartment complexes, blah, 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 cars or whatever. And I was getting to know him before I knew that. Because, you know what? However you start out, you're going to end up. So, you know, if you don't have your own money, you don't have your own stuff going on, and then you date someone thinking, you, you know what I mean, you're going to end up back where you are. But back to that, especially, it is so weird, especially men my age, they are not present. They'll say they're interested, and then they just don't even, like, text you or anything. So maybe women think, you know, if all I'm going to get from someone is things, if they're not even going to pay attention to me, or even be present when, you know, like yeah, you can't right. even do this, then maybe they're fine with the money. I don't know. Well, that's what I was going to get to, too. I was, like, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say, I was going to say, I was going but yeah, I think that's a lot of the reason why it's like a, a cause and effect. So, yes. men not being present and women feeling like, oh, I can't speak for women. Oh. I don't want to say I don't speak for women. I don't want to speak, no, I don't me, say I speak for women. Opinion. But my interpretation of why they do it is because it's been so many times to where women felt like their time was wasted and they value their time. So it's like, well, you're going to pay for my time then. Mm -hmm. And that's where all this stuff, and then it goes from pretty much seeing what they're going to, seeing what the men would do. And then now it's demanding like, oh, I'm not about to either. We're not going to start this off the wrong way. You're going to pay for my time. You're going to waste my time. You're going to, I'm going to get something out of this. You're not going to get their heart. So no. And that's, know, or attention or consistency that is my biggest complaint right there is consistency don't even try to tell me how into me you are when you hit me up and then you don't and you don't and you do and you don't like no no you don't care that much because your phone is probably not any farther than your damn pocket yeah and you can't like say hi or anything 
That doesn't right. make any sense <laughs> to me. That is right. But I feel like nowadays also, men, instead of trying to change that and show that presence, mm -hmm. now they just, boom. They try to just get your attention by their, their pockets. Or multiple women and don't put out the money, you know, just short short um short shallow you know this chick that chick whoever just short little interactions once every couple days and call it good with yeah. multiple people it's really just a time filler you know and that's one thing i like about you i admire about you is you're filling your time with trying with being productive with i swear to god never met somebody with more hobbies in my whole <laughs> damn life but you know what? I, I mean, that was one of the first things that, that I noticed because coming from my culture, we're a culture of entrepreneurs. Lebanon was the first like merchandisers and traders. So my family does own their own businesses, whether it's in Lebanon or whether they're in the United States. And so I noticed those things. And, you know, it's cool. Like, and it's not just a hobby, you know, like you doing photography, you know, you're, you do your business and stuff, you know, getting into the barber thing, you're going to do your business. So it's not, it's not just a hobby, mm. but it, it's too bad, honestly, that more people aren't finding things that they're interested in to fill their time with, especially women running around, you know, like <laughs> it's, it, you know, and, and it's sad too, because this is what we're promoting. Like what if somebody did just want to be a wife or did just want to be a mom? You're a loser. You should be a wife, a mom, an entrepreneur, a this, a that, and the other. Is like how it's portrayed. Not saying that people are saying that to you, mm -hmm. but it's just not good enough, you know. And I honestly hate the whole term of hustling because if you are in the right mind, like we always talk about, if your heart is in what you're doing and, you know, you feel good about yourself and you're moving forward, you're going to draw those things to you. So to tell people to go around and bust your ass all day long, and, and for what? So your health can go down downhill? Like, how long is that going to last you? You know, we have so many health issues. And I could, like, just go off on that whole topic <laughs> of health. You know? Take health podcast. Don't get started. <laughs> Yeah, don't get me started on that. But, you know, it really comes down to the mind and, and how we think. Like, you can literally make yourself sick. And if you're telling everyone to go out and work all damn day long, you're going to make yourself sick. And especially doing it, doing stuff that you really don't care about. Yeah. But I know a lot of people, like, feel like that. That's how, that's how relationships and marriages are supposed to work is the, the man's a provider, the woman's yeah. the nurturer, and boom, because a lot of people, they'll take bits and pieces of things, and they'll, like, you know, as you should, but that's where you get women, even this day and age, of like, I'm not supposed to work, he's supposed to take care of the house, he's supposed to provide the, you know, stuff like that, and I just, personally, I just can't be with somebody like that, who just, I'm just going to be, take care of home, like, for what, I can, I can do that by myself, I'm doing it now, you know what I'm saying, like, I don't need somebody to just stay at home and take care of the house, my house is clean here by myself. Like, what do I need you here for to just keep the house clean? You know what I'm saying? And this is before you were like, in your mind, you're like, oh, I'm being nursed, I'm just taking care of home. I'm like, you don't have kids yet. Like, you are, your mind is, you're a program your mind to think, like, I'm just going to stay at home and just take care of the kids. Well, <laughs> 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 All right, so back in the day topic, let me see what we're going to start on the day topic. Because we talked about the tricks already. But how are we? Kinda, I mean, kind of. You didn't use the term. You, you, you know what? Talk about it. I saw how, how men are tricks nowadays. So I thought that that meant like um, turning a trick. You know, like prostitution. That's what when you when you asked me if I knew what that was. That was that's all. You know, maybe it's my age or whatever. But yeah, uh, that's what it used to be. I saw prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. So pretty much a trick is. A man who pretty much tries to buy the woman and she accepts it. Like, pretty much he'll flaunt about, like, songs these days are uh, bought her a breaking back, bought her this, bought her that. Pretty much you're trying to buy her love, stuff like that, which is different from doing it. I'm not gonna, mm, how can I make this to make sense? But then guys are gonna complain about women just wanting money? No, they're not, they're not complaining. But it's just well, like, not those guys. Yeah, not, not those guys, <laughs> but they're like, 
It's kind of like a, um, like pretty much like a trend to like okay. blow your money on a woman type of thing, and then women are taking advantage of men who are doing like that. Cause that's just how like how dating is from what I see. How it is these days mostly is you try to pretty much buy a woman out. You're paying for her time, so you will just buy her things just to impress, her, just to get her attention and stuff like that. That's how like a trick is. It actually makes sense because that pretty much is prostitution. So yeah. the term kind of yeah, like, yeah, exactly. it goes it goes nineties and it goes now. You know, well, it's I'll, the same thing with a different spin. I guess a, a lot of women are gonna though a lot of them are probably gonna disagree the hell out of me for saying that. <laughs> They're probably well, actually, but fine. I mean, this is a matter of opinion, and yeah. that's something that bugs me. I don't, I don't post a lot of my deep personal opinions on Facebook or on other people's posts because you're gonna get bashed, and you're gonna get bashed mostly by other women. You yeah. Know? Not to spin, spin, go off of the trick thing, but anytime I've seen a man post, you know how ridiculous women are nowadays and they just want blah 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 and I and maybe I just say something simply like well you know that kind of goes both ways there are so many women like running to this guy's rescue like why I just said it goes both ways what do you mean running to his rescue like they hop on my comment and defend the guy like you don't even fucking know the dude and you're bashing another woman for saying hey it's a two-way street if people are going to use or cheat or whatever, it's going to be both sexes. Like, like if the guy is just saying, you know, women are users, women are this, women are that. And I say simply, it goes both ways. Then it's always women that come back and, and defend what the guy is saying, which makes no sense because he's bashing you. That makes no sense. I've never seen that before, though. I've had it. That's why I don't. I don't even bother. You know what I mean? I just... If I don't like what somebody's saying enough times and it really goes against my morals or values, I just delete them. There's not even any point, you know? People get on social media to argue, it seems like, anymore, but... So, fair assessment. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely say that, yeah. Fair assessment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I lost my trend on the trip. <laughs> So, yeah, so we've kind of talked about it, but on here, I guess, you know, what, what would you value, or what do you want, what would you want someone, because I know you've talked about ambition and stuff, but how would you want somebody to treat you? Like, what, what would you want internally from a woman? Internally? Well, as far as, like, treating, like, yeah. appreciate it. Mm -hmm. A lot of women, they really, from what I've seen, they, don't, they really don't value their relationship or value the man is pretty much like a what can I get out of it like I said type of thing. Mm -hmm. It's from it's from new dating. <laughs> it's like what can what can I get out of you? Like what value do you bring to me? I'm not giving I'm not even trying to bring any value. I'm just this I just look gorgeous. So what can you give me for being gorgeous? Mm -hmm. Obviously they don't really feel that way though. If you really felt that way about yourself, you would be fine with how you looked without have, trying to change every damn thing. Well that's... The, Sorry, I just that, went off that, <laughs> that, that, That's <laughs> the thing, like you, you look this part to get the yeah. attention to see what you can get from, my, from what I see. What can I get this person? I'm going to change, I'm going to change how I look to bring my, pretty much, the, the better I look, the more upscale person I can't attract to me, which is pretty much a person with more money. And people wonder why relationships just turn over, you know what I mean? Like, that's the thing is, you have to, if you have two individuals, like, you've got your life and you're happy and you're productive and you like what you're doing, you have your finances in order, you don't have to be, you know, rich or whatever, but you're good to go, and then a woman likes what she's doing, is happy with herself, and you you just happen to like, kind of like I was talking, you just happen to meet, that's a partnership, that's healthy. What you have to be, and I, I think Will Smith said this, and I, I really like a lot of the stuff he says, you know, I really do. He said, like, it's not my job to make her happy, and I think that's exactly why people are getting into relationships. They're very empty, 
they're very they haven't dealt with any of their internal things or whatever and like I want you to come and fulfill that space that's yeah. not your job you know yeah and that's what we're doing it's kind of like self like self have like to be happy with yourself yeah Is that what you mean? and your life and what you're doing and I mean everybody's got issues no one's happy 24 7 or whatever you know what I mean life yeah. is ebb and flow but you have to have contrast to even know what being happy is. If, if we had nothing wrong in our lives, you wouldn't know the difference, you know, and it would be very mediocre. Yeah. So. I think a lot of things with also relationships is, at least from what I feel like what women are doing is, they're spending so much time on how they look physically mm -hmm. and they don't know how to, how can I say this? They worry about more their physical appearance than their inner. Like, you can look like the prettiest thing on, on uh, Melrose, but you can't hold a decent conversation. You know what right. I'm saying? And, like, you expect people to, or you expect a man to pretty much hold the whole conversation. Like, you hit me up, have something to talk about, I'm just going to respond, I want you to be consistent, but I'm not going to be consistent. Or I want you to hit me up all the time, I want you to take me out and do all this, and I'm just going to yeah. be here, so... You chase me, and I'm just gonna be here, and then I'm gonna pick from between you and social media. That's what I feel rules a lot of relationships is. You have it's so easy to just have another option, have another option. Yeah, it's that's that's so easy that's to just network with people saying. in that type of way. You don't value even what you have, or you don't value somebody who's really interested in you most of the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just okay. This guy likes me. Like, do you have women that have the food guy? The oh, he's cool. The guy that I'm going to tell all my problems to, the guy that I'm kind of interested in, but not really. The, the sex guy, like, this uh, like this is like real things. That's too like, much work, damn it. This, this, this is, is like why I don't thing. get, because I, I feel though, I feel, see, I felt it on the other side, you know. And so I was married for 18 years, and then after getting divorced, I so I got married when I was 21. Yeah, I never clubbed, I never you know dated different people or whatever i had one high school boyfriend and then my husband who who was a very good person I, i'm not saying anything about that but you know i i did date for a while and that's how i felt was just like they i had i don't know if it's too many options or just you know they just want what's convenient but i don't know like i don't know how a guy has a wife and a girlfriend maybe another girlfriend maybe cat like how do you have time for that when you have children and you think when you're around your kids they don't they don't like what did I say earlier you are not present you think when you're fucking around with all these people and you're married that your kids feel your presence That's that doesn't right. really add up yeah. but they want to say that I'm a good dad you know what I mean I'm a good dad okay some men may feel like they're a good dad just from a financial aspect and they forget to be there presently, like in a child's life, seeing what they're doing, figuring out what's going on with them, like being involved in their life. You know what I'm saying? Some fathers may never know, or just parents in general, like how are your kids doing in school? Like what's your kid doing in school today? What kind of friends are your kids hanging out with? What are they into? What are their hobbies? What do they want to do be in life? They're just like, oh well, here's some money, those are paid, alright. I'm a good dad. Yeah. Like, no, you're and that goes back down to provider and nurturer. I would yeah. get that because in my mind, yeah. as long as I'm paying the bills, then I'm a good father. But like, no, you need to be present in your child's life, you know? So, so values-wise, at least for me anyway, you know, and I did grow up in a couple different cultures. Like, my father's from the Middle East, my mom's white. I grew up in a Mexican town. Most of my friends' parents didn't speak English. They were very tight-knit family, and then I loved that, you know, I didn't have my dad around that much, I didn't have that culture, you know, or get to know where I came from, the food, the language, and all that stuff, and so for me, being at my friends who were Mexican, their moms, it's kind of funny, you know, like what you're talking about, their moms, um, a lot of them worked, I think, because they had to, some of them didn't, but they, could, they were always cooking, taking care of their kids, they usually had five so it's not like they were just hanging out with their one or two or whatever but I, I do feel like internally and this is not a money thing I am a nurturer you know I am a woman we, we carry children for a reason yeah. and and I want a man to be a leader not not 
I'm not here and he's here, not that type of leader, but like his presence, like, like take charge. And again, that might not sound quite right, but let's say, let's say it was me and you, you know, and I would want you to be like, hey, what do you think about doing this? Like, like be forward, or this is how I feel about you, or just be honest, be forward. All the beating around the bush and all that sort of stuff and being, you know, not really saying anything, not really complimenting people. It's, I have no problem telling somebody how special they are, or unique they are, or whatever, and I want, I want that. That's what I want. I want to feel appreciated too. But I want to feel like someone cares about me for who I am and not just how fast they can get my clothes off. And that's why I don't date. It's like, and that's another thing too, talking about the, um, all the pictures in your underwear and stuff. Since, <laughs> I, since I don't do that, since mm -hmm. this is me right here, people are more curious about getting your clothes off. So I never know, like when someone's approaching me, you know, like, well, do you really give a shit? Or is it just that there's a mystery because I'm not half naked right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be more fond of a woman who actually is more concealed, at least on her social network. If, what she said, if she says me things, that's one thing. But if you're just putting it out there, it's just like, it's not really too... Even... Though, like, even if you've only known each other, let's say a couple of weeks, which is a long time nowadays, you know? <laughs> That's like ancient without having sex, people think. But even if you knew someone for a few weeks and they sent a picture to you in their bra and underwear, let's just say, how would you, you know what I mean? You would, oh, she's yep. so valuable. Would you look at the picture and be like, oh, I value her so much? You, I don't know. What do you think? What's different is she's not posting on her social media. And it also depends on the... the <laughs> like, why? <laughs> no, it's like, it also depends on what kind of, like, connection y'all have. Like, if, if, if you know she's not, I'm not going to say, like, everything falls back on social media. If she's not really posting on her social media as a man, it'll feel more special to me. Specifically me. I don't know how the guys are. But me specifically, it'll be more special. I'll be, like, more like, oh, like, turned on by it because I know she's not that type of person. She's more, um... What's that word? What if that picture is not going on social media, but to like two other guys? That is a thing too. Right? So, so you know what I mean? You, you know. Yeah, I, I, you in my opinion, poison. Yeah, in yeah. my opinion, if someone's just happens. gonna do that and you don't really know them and you don't have a relationship with them, like why wouldn't they send it to multiple people? Yeah. You can always tell when a woman sends it to multiple people. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, well, yeah. since I don't personally do this, it might be. Even if, not saying I've received anything like that, but... Whatever. I'm just, <laughs> okay. Obviously, you've got naked pictures. It's like, if... If she just sends you a picture, like, boom, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I've been, I've had friendships with women, with, with certain women, and they just send me some shit. I'm like, oh, what the... Like, we're not ever talking, or no, like, we're just, like, friends. He just sent me some shit. I'm like, what the? You mean like a quaint more? That would be like, more like, like quaint. Yeah, right? like it's cool. Like you know what I'm saying? And then you just send me some things. Like, what the fuck? Like, we call it friends because we have Facebook friends. Do you know any of those damn people? Like, no. like really? Unless they're your, you know, your real friend. Like my good friends are on Facebook, but we don't even really like communicate through there. You know, yeah. like the women I spend the most time with. It's not a thing to be on their social media. Oh, look at your pictures. Yeah, I see you every damn day. I don't need yeah, to look at my, your pictures. That's more my generation type shit. But even I'll be on. I go there, I post, and I get off. But well, that's to get off topic. But the way you know that is because why well, is she going to have just these pictures just in the chamber? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like you guys had this conversation like, ooh, I just bought some, whatever. I just. So you're talking to a woman, right? Well, say, because she sends you randomly, and you guys are just acquaintances. She said that to five other niggas. I don't remember what I said. <laughs> <laughs> but if, like, you guys are talking, it's like, oh, I just got these. I just got this cute little whatever. She describes it from whatever place. Oh, I'm gonna send it to you. Okay, cool. Then you know she just she just got it. She just took it. At least you know. At least she'll hopefully believe her. I guess. Or it's more well, so. Okay. It's more so being. Trust, yeah, it's, it's more so being trust. like, okay, I can. That sounds believable, rather than she just sends you these shits and, you know, <laughs> like, no, you just have them in the chamber. Or they'll have them, like, there'll be a, uh, um, a date on it. Like, Snapchat has dates. Oh. 
and I have like dates and I have like a heart and it said pink. I don't have Snapchat. Like honestly, I want to live. I want to live now. I want to sit here and talk to you now. I would be so fucking annoyed if you were on your phone right now. And but you know what? Those are the people do. Like, why are you going out to a restaurant on a date and you're both like on your phone? Yes, exactly. Even old people. What the fuck is that? You know better. <laughs> that that is like <laughs> you the know worst. better. I don't get it. You know, like I remember going out, and I have had when I was dating after my divorce. I've had some really fun times. Like I remember going um, with this one guy to this taco place in Santa Monica. It was a Tuesday because it was like Taco Tuesday. And we were sitting there eating and drinking and just cracking up. I mean, we were talking, having so much fun, you know, and I'm li like, you look around and that's like, why do you want to be with someone just to, to have a, a space filled? Because like, they're like, none of them looked happy. How many married couples do you know? And even when I was married, our friends, maybe one out of how many even appear to be happy can you think of the, any off the top of your head you have friends that are married in the military wait first of all are you cool like cold cool i can turn the arrow i'm hot <laughs> i don't want to pick up so much of the mic that's why no, i know the mic picks up a lot of a lot of audio oh so i don't want to be like Zzz. if we're talking i can barely hear you shit this comes along with my uh, <laughs> my place in life, you uh, know. Hey, at least. Well, I, well, as long as you just, <laughs> just make sure you speak over yourself. All right, so rephrase the question. Well, I don't even remember what we're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> Should we? Do you want to? You saw the married couples. The married, oh yeah, the so couples. how many married couples do you know that actually look like when you're around them, they seem like they even like each other. In my situation, not too much around a lot of married couples, but I I hear yeah, a lot of. Yeah, you do. I, no, I, I really don't hang around with married couples. No, I don't mean hang around, but like you you're around a lot of men who are married. Yeah, a lot, that's yeah. different. A lot of men who are married, but I'm not just like yeah. say this is. Oh, you're like married and your husband's together, here. We're yeah. just like, hey, what's up, yeah. Robert? No, I'm like, <laughs> that's like for me awkward. I'm like being single. Like, no, I'm not trying to hang out with y'all. No, I get what you're Boring. saying. <laughs> 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 well, you know, and maybe that's why people are fucking around. What did you just say? Boring? Like, no, like, I'm, like, I'm see, like it's like relationships no, are boring too. Though, no, not right? relationships. It's like from okay, this is from my experience, right? So not to put anybody's name out there. I'm not gonna put it out no on first street. But I know people who are <laughs> I know people who are in relationships. Now look at their relationship. Like, how can you back to the tricks thing? Go back to the tricks thing. Even when married, it's just like. For me, I just don't understand that being a breadwinner. It, okay. Disclaimer: I understand responsibilities of finances. I understand that, so I want to just get that understood. You're responsible. But, but as far as like me, and you, you're 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 my homeboy, or whatever, right? Oh, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This, okay, no, this I'm sorry. person. Yeah, me, me and my homeboy, right? I got what you're saying. <laughs> Me and my homeboy, we're gonna hang out. This has happened before. Me and my homeboy, we're gonna hang out and stuff. You know, the guys come to the house, we chill and stuff like that. And then, we're like, okay, let's go buy, let's go buy, uh, we're gonna buy some bottles. You know, it's like five of us and stuff, so we can't, like, all drink off of one bottle. Like, come on, we're gonna, we're gonna be like from six to who knows where. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we gotta get some bottles so at least we don't run out. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, but you have to ask your wife that if you can buy a bottle, like, dude, it's like 20 bucks for a bottle. You know what I'm saying? Like, how can like you guys that much of control over you like she doesn't work yeah she, maybe not for that but you know in other um areas like let's say a car <laughs> i don't know you know not i i mean i don't think like a 20 dollar thing unless uh, you know what though maybe this person has a spending problem maybe they have a gambling addiction that you don't know about and so then they have to run it by their wife because and you know what? She probably should have left his ass a long fucking time ago. But That's she's put too. up with all this shit. Which is, codepend which is codependent. <laughs> so neither one of those are good. But you, you know what I'm saying. Like if it was a bigger thing or you wanted to go spend a couple hundred dollars on clothes, it's just respect to tell them. Like I, I wouldn't want you to ask my permission. That's kind of weird. No, but then again, is... when you're in a relationship and when I'm in a relationship, you're going to have your own money and I'm going to have my own money. So like it, 
you know, let's say you, you had one bank account, it would just simply be respect because both people are contributing, but maybe you won't have one bank account. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would be different if you guys both had your own and then exactly. you had to share their account. I don't really know, but some people <laughs> do. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is your money, this is my money, this is our money. If you have that situation, okay, cool, but you shouldn't be taking out your money to get something for you. You should be taking out your money. That's another thing why I say, like, I'm not too much into the, I don't know, like, you know. stay-at-home type of wife and... You make all the bread, but I gotta ask you to use my own money. Like I know they'll know. We're not, but I gotta ask you to use my. I go to work every day. Yeah. Sun up yeah, to day no, near sundown. I agree with that. Longer days. Yeah. Not a lot of work. Ain't no overtime. Salary. So if you work late, you work later. So yeah. now I gotta ask you if I can get something for me. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's different if you're talking about. Um, well, no. I'm gonna speak for me. If I'm gonna buy a car, I should be able to buy a car as long as I can afford it financially. I'm not going to put us in like no hardship, but we're going to go into debt. That's what I'm saying, and that's different. I don't think it's an asking thing. It's like, can, are you, okay, if you were married and you had a healthy marriage, not like most of us have had, would you just like go, like say, you know, I'm somebody or whatever, there's a man or a woman, you know, and we're here on a Saturday and you're just going to be like, oh, I'll see you later. And you show back up with a new car. That's fucking weird. That's like, that's, <laughs> I understand that. Like, I understand that part. You know, like, I understand like, that. Yeah, like, 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 okay, wouldn't you even want them to go yeah. with you for fun because you actually enjoy their company? I mean, that's ideal. But yeah, it doesn't, I, I've done that before. Like, yeah, I want to get, yeah, get a new car. Like, that's understandable. Yeah, yeah but it's like more so of like, like I said, depending on your financial situation and stuff like that, right? Say your finances are good, everything's great. But you have to ask for me, like, you're like, hey, you know, I'm gonna buy like my situation, me buying the car is I have one car is a project car, nineteen ninety four. Right. It's two thousand twenty one. At the time it was two thousand sixteen. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, let's be a decent project car. Yeah, I need like a reliable cool. car. Another my, one of your fifty million hobbies. Yeah, I've never right. one of my fifty million hobbies. <laughs> but as far <laughs> as far as like my actual Daily, my commuter car, yeah. the transmission was going out. Mm -hmm. So it's like I needed to get a car. So it's like me running past, like, hey, you know, I want to get into the car, sold that car, let know I was selling it. Hey, I yeah, or you just know what I'm saying? Say what you're doing. You're not asking. So yeah, so that's like show. different. But if you're just like, oh, I'm better come back with a car this weekend, a car that week. <laughs> that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's certain things, but I'm talking about like from at least like the lower budget type of things, you know, like. Yeah, I get what you're saying. You know what, though? I do have to say it's very interesting that we, um, like how you were saying, women staying at home and men paying the money and whatever, like how you don't like that. But it's very interesting how we do get along so well because, quite frankly, being who I am and how I grew up, and people may not like this, but I'm just going to be honest, I do expect men to pay. I expect my friend, and, and you know what? I don't. I don't think about it. I don't say it. I have male friends, and they're. You know what? They're older than I am. So that's another thing. Is they're not gonna look at me and be like, "Are you gonna take your wallet out?" Like, no. <laughs> that's a fucking insult to an eighty-year-old. Yeah, I have yeah. older friends because. When I did personal training, I met a lot of elderly people, and they're alone. They didn't have family. You know, I don't think people should be alone like that. So I've made friends. You know, I get taken out to lunch. They're not looking at me like, well, aren't you going to pay your bill? And I'm not looking at them like, oh, are you going to pay my bill? No, we're there. You're the fucking man. Pay the damn bill. Like, I, I don't, I, you know, that's how I grew up. But my father was very you know and and not in a healthy way but he was in control of all the household you know he had his own business he was very controlling so it wasn't healthy you know but that was a thing and like when i go out to coffee with my friends or whatever they just pay you know they just do and you know what if you come to my house i'm gonna take or yeah i can't here i'm here this you know if i come to your house I'm gonna cook for someone. I, I like to do that. And maybe that sounds very old fashioned, like what you're talking about, rolls or whatever. But like, you know, I, I want to work hard and things that I love. So it's not like how you said like, oh, I just want to sit here, you go make all the money. You know, it's a little bit different for me because just because of how I grew up in our generations, you know. Yeah. I'm going 30 minute increments. So, <laughs> no, because it only, hour, no, it only does. like a five hour podcast. <laughs> it only like does, that. for some reason, this camera only does 30 minutes. The other camera, you can just keep rolling. That's why I want that camera to come in so bad. But, you know, so back to that, right? 
So you're saying... Wait, is it on right now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> it's rolling. All right, so as far as... I agree with you, like, the man should pay, right? But... We're, like, kind of contra... Like, yeah, it's, it's like controversial, but like, I, I see what you're like, coming from, yeah, right? Like, if you're interested in a woman, yes, I believe you should pay. But for me, it's like, I personally, I'm going to pay if you, I want, obviously, I'm not going to go out with you anywhere if I don't want, if I don't want to pay for you, right? You have to give me a reason to want to pay for you other than just looking good. Mm -hmm. Maybe like, like, that's why it's like, you meet her, maybe it's, you know, a sexual attraction. You see each other, you both find each other attractive. Okay, cool. You start talking, you get to know each other, you take it out to eat. I agree with that. Yeah, man should pay for it. But then it comes a, it comes a point to where, hey, are you the only one paying for every? Like every time you go out, you're like the only one paying for everything, and the woman's never even trying to like, hey, you know what? Let me at least get a tip or something like that. They just right. expect you to pay for it. Like it's expected for you to pay pay for everything, but she's not bringing you any value to you. She's not bringing yeah. any value to like, oh, you want to start a relationship? What value you're bringing to me? So you're not bringing me anything. Like go back to the, you just look attractive. You're not bringing no value to me. So why am I even gonna want to keep paying for you? Or pay for you at all, and you're not putting any more. You're not putting any value into me, other than you just look good next to me. And that's where you know you just, if something's rolling kind of positively, you just go with what's going on and what's in your heart. You know, like we ate today, we went out to eat, and that's what I felt. Like I felt like, you know, he's been giving to me. He's been, you know, you have bought me stuff to eat and and whatever, and so. If you feel it at the time, you know, like we were there and it kind of kind of contradicts what I just said, too. <laughs> you know, like, well, I expect my friends to pay, you know, I it it seemed right. Like, I want you to feel like, oh, you've done nice things for me. And so I want to do that, you know, and mm -hmm. that's where I think you have healthy relationships with that's, people. Yeah, it's not the reassurance, like the reassurance, like not saying the woman has to pay all the time or half the time, but it's just like, at least offer feel it, time, you feel, know what I'm saying? Feel when it's right to give yeah. back, you know what I mean? Because exactly. I do feel like there would be a point, even like in a friendship, where maybe you're doing stuff, you know, going to the store, this, that, or the other, and there should be a point where you feel like you want to give back, I think, and yeah. that's that's good, you know? And a lot so. of women do not have that these days, they just, that shit, just boop, in the trash. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, no, this does not exist. Control, delete, throw this in the trash, recycle. Like, they don't yeah, believe in that yeah. at all. Like, I see what your, your situation is like, you got your friends, stuff like that. That's cool. Like, for me, I wouldn't mind doing stuff like that. You know, you got your friends. I'm inviting you out. Like, if I'm oh, inviting yeah. you, if oh, I'm inviting you out, like, okay. hey, let's, let's go out to get something to eat. Da, da, da. If I'm inviting you out, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna pay for it because I'm asking you, hey, you want to go out? Like, me, a couple of guys, a couple of girls are going out there. Da, da, da. I personally invite you, yeah. right? It's like, okay. She's agreeing to come. Let me at least pay for her. I don't want to her, have her feel like she has to come and pay. Now, if you have your own money, you're like, no, that's okay. I pay for myself. Do, do, do. Whatever. You know, something yeah, like that. Totally but at different. least, and, and for me, in my mind, I'd be like, you know what? I'm going to make sure I, I, I take care of her as my friend, you know? Or wherever it may no, be. And I'm going to go ahead and, I mean, you know, I'm going to pay for her meal or whatever I'm going out doing. I invite you here. So I, I feel like I should be obligated to pay for you because I'm asking for your time. Now, some women are opposite. Hey, let's go out to eat. Like it's their idea, you're yeah, saying. Yeah, like, hey, let's go out to eat. <laughs> we should go out for a date. We should go out here. Uh, there you go. You know, uh, if you want to do that, just get on some dating site. Uh, you know what I mean? But you know what? Whole... Oh, okay. <laughs> another time. Yeah, we could talk about that but, too like, for a long time. But, but yeah, no, I, I agree with what you're saying. I have had one time. One time. And it's funny because, you know, I was like, well, like, this guy seemed nice. He wasn't my type, looks wise. You know, some people like a variety of stuff. I am particular about my type of person, and he wasn't that. But I was trying to be open minded, you know, which, quite frankly, maybe this sounds shallow, but if you are not like attracted to someone when you see them, you know, like the first time when you look at them, if you don't feel anything, just leave it as a damn friendship, you know? <laughs> Not, I don't think you need to try to feel anything, and, and a lot of us do. I've done it before. But anyway, he did ask me out. So we met a couple times, had fun friendship-wise, like talked, laughed, and all that stuff. And then um, the thing was, though, even with that, is back, back to the sex thing. Like, 
you know, just trying to push it when you just met me. And I, and I said, you know, like, Hey, I don't, we just met. I don't even want to talk about this right now, you know? Mm -hmm. And then he asked me out on a date to a burger place. And then we get up to the counter. This is a place where you order, you know, and then you go sit down and after meeting this person a few times, they were like a whiny little bitch. Like he was just so fucking whiny that I didn't sleep with him. And he invited me out and then left me there to pay for my bill. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, that, that was not savage. the funnest dinner that you know, I've had. Because <laughs> he, he looked like he, he just was like a two year old kid that didn't get what they wanted, you know? And I'm like thinking, why did you ask me here? This just doesn't make any sense, you know? That is not. No. I had something in my head when you were talking and I just lost that <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh man. That shit's not gonna come back to me. <laughs> it was good. I was trying to I was trying to see. I was trying to hold on to it. I was like, <laughs> it was like Give me like a hand boop. signal or something. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't want to I don't want to interrupt. You know, no, you're like you're I, I enjoy I enjoy the uh the experience talk that you that you're giving me oh with, my with the guys. I've had so funny. But oh so that that's what I was about to say. So a woman who's not interested in a man, mm -hmm. right? Phys like like you said, you have to be physically attracted to somebody. You know like you know You know but, when you see them. But some men may know or feel like, oh she doesn't find me attractive or I know I'm not attractive person. They have, have that mm -hmm. self doubt or they just know like she's never like She's never responding to me in ways that I know that she's uh, interested in me or attracted to me. So what they do is they okay. come tricks. And they, oh, I make this much. I work here. Oh, I got a big house. I got this car. I got this, that. They start flaunting their... I haven't really had that experience. That's what a lot of guys do, though. They'll flaunt what they have to try to win you over. Like, I look like this, but look what I can give you. Look what I have. Oh, you can live this life. But you can't text me consistently? Fuck that shit. But you know they, what I mean? That's a, that's a, that's what my experience has been. Like you can talk about your apartment complexes or whatever you own, but you can't be consistent. Consistency to me is number one. If you're not, you're not really that into me. And that I'm not saying to text me all day long because I, I hope you have a life. You know what I mean? Like, do you say good morning to someone or even? And I know, I know, I've seen guys post on Facebook like, "Is there any women out there that say good morning anymore?" Okay, my old fashionedness is gonna come out, and people will probably disagree. But like, I literally think in my head, "You're the fucking man." You know what I mean? Just why are you posting this shit like a bitch on social media? That's probably some controversial stuff. <laughs> You're gonna get all these like comments uh, like, hey, what's talk. wrong with her? <laughs> what? But you know, that that's really how I feel. But you know what, how many times, I will say like, I know, you know, you were in Kuwait, we text each other, you mm. know, and stuff. It's, pro it's probably hard to be somewhere else, you know, you don't have your son and, or whatever. And like, if I feel like, you know, let's say, you texted me or somebody texts me and I and I, I go to bed pretty early, you know, I I take care of myself. My health. Right now, I know. <laughs> no, this is over by the way, I'm going to sleep now. <laughs> it's past nine thirty. But <laughs> hey, you know, so but the thing is, you know, is if, if I if I go to bed then I'm gonna get up in the morning and I'm gonna say good morning. And again it just goes back to when is that timing right? When is it right for me? to buy you food you know you just gotta be like attentive to people and that's the thing with everyone's faces in their damn phones all the time how are you gonna fucking message. know you can't pay attention to anyone when you're sitting there on your phone you yeah, know we're gonna get on phones let's remember that to get the, the whole phone yeah down. but back oh, to God, that drives me insane yeah we're gonna, we're, remember the phone we're gonna get on the phone topic. you remember that because i'm probably gonna forget i'm trying to hope this thought in my head that i have right now <laughs> so back on the um where you what were we talking about the um the the man pretty much flaunting what he has to win a woman over, right? We're gonna we're gonna go back for it for a second. So what the woman would do, from what I've seen, they're gonna take advantage of that. They're gonna see, well, I really don't wanna waste my time with him, but if he's gonna buy me stuff, then why not? I'm not doing like nothing she's today. Not that yeah, she's not that interested, okay. but she'll take what you you're gonna you're trying to bribe her with gifts and doing this and that for her oh she's gonna take that 
But then you're going to complain about how women just want your money. Exactly. Not you, men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Men that do that, yeah. Oh, she's yeah. using this and that. Like, no, you're flaunting it. You yeah. are trying to bribe her for her time to be interested in you by giving her all these things and doing all these things for her. Who's going to say no? If you say, hey, you know what? Let me be on the podcast. I'll pay you a million bucks. I'm like, <laughs> can you be here at night? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's all. No, 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 no. But, like, that's how, that's how, like, and that's exaggerating, actually, guess, like example, yeah. but that's what it feels like a lot of men are doing. When you try to, when you try to bribe, you're trying to bribe somebody for them to say yes. So they're gonna say yes, and they're gonna take what you give them. And if you went to, if you're, if they're not interested in you, they're just not gonna be interested in you. But they're gonna take what you give them just for spending time with you or whatever. They're gonna accept what you're gonna give them because you're trying to, can, you're can, trying to convince them so much to for these things for for the man. Because I want to say the woman's asking for these things, but you're as a man, you're trying to convince her to. Give her your time so you can do all this stuff for her. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just doing it, if she gives you your time, if you want to do that, you're trying to bribe her like, hey, I'll do this for her, do that for you. Let's go to you. Know what I'm saying? And a lot of women get that, they'll get that from a man that, uh, I'll do this and that for you. Oh, you never met a man like me. I can do this and that. You know, they say all that kind of, and that's what all that stuff flourishes is from. Like, they're trying to bribe you. You know what I'm saying? I can do this for her, do that for you. you know, that's weird. Like man. I said, the number one thing, you never met a man like me. Oh, you know, if like, somebody said that to me, like, you know, I... I I'm can, not like them. Yeah, I I'm, can, I'm like this, I do this, I I'm do different. that. Like, it's like saying, I'm humble. Okay, for that shit shouldn't be... If you're humble, you're not going to need to say it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it just... I don't know. It just, <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense, honestly. Actions speak out of the words. If you're, if you're, to me, if you're saying all this stuff of what you are, that's some of you're not. If you, gotta, yeah. if you have to try to convince me of who you are and what you are, like, you're not. I should be able to just look at you, see how you move, and analyze that and just know, okay, I can tell he's a go-getter. I can tell that he, or she, she take care of business. I can tell that she actually cares about her man. I can tell that she's right. interested. He's interested. You can see that off the actions, and that goes back to consistency. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. like yeah, that's true. I can I can say like the men that I've been out on dates with that were complaining about women just wanting free meals and stuff like that. They had their issues for sure, you know, and like I said, they weren't really all like all there, you know. I mean, you could see like for me personally, I could see why maybe they would feel that way because I don't know. They're they're not putting in anything that special. So if that's all you're gonna get, maybe a woman is gonna be like, well, okay, cool. I'll take the dinner or whatever. You yeah, know. I I'll see know. if I like if I don't. I don't think that's yeah. right. I wouldn't personally do it. Like, well, if all I'm gonna get it from a man is gifts and blah blah blah, and he's not gonna pay attention to me or whatever, I wouldn't personally do that. But I think that is part of what's happening. You know. Yeah. So. I've had this one this one female friend, and she. She was bribing to me about all this stuff that she got from different dudes. Like, oh, this guy was talking to me. He got me this bag. Duh, duh, duh. Mind you, this motherfucker had no job. No job. That's this is the one I told you. That's, that's when the detail. That, that's the one in the detail about this. This is the one I told you that didn't have a job. Remember? The whole, uh, what's that? The, uh, the shrine room. Oh, the teddy bears and yeah, stuff? Yeah, that shit. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. yeah, this is. Okay. <laughs> so, so. Um, obviously this, not normal. Like, the like, only thing. How old was this person? 40 or yeah, something? Like, 30 something. A little bit older than me. So, the only thing that, only thing that she can ever actually talk about, like, we can never have, like, decent conversation because it's like, you're not doing nothing with your life, so I can't be like, oh, what did you do today? Nothing, I just chilled. Te- like, I hung out with my teddy bears yeah, in my bedroom. You're boring as shit. You have no. You have no drive, no aspiration. You're not trying to do nothing. Like, it's boring, so it's just like only thing our conversation would consist of is, oh, my ex got me this, and this is got me this, and this got me that. Oh, he took me to Hawaii. Did it like? No wonder you're not with none of these motherfuckers. You're not doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like you're just you're just here. Like you're not bringing no value to a man. So that's probably why you're not with nobody right now. And this is crazy because she will always talk about how like she wouldn't have kids. I'm like, you have kids so bad, but what? Like, that's what a you- really odd thing to tell someone that you've casual like you guys obviously didn't know each other that well you know like if if well like say when we met on the beach right and mm-hmm. then we met up 
So let's say that next time we met up after the beach and we're sitting there talking, like, that would be really bizarre if I talked about, well, I already have kids, but if I was younger and I didn't, mm -hmm. to be like, oh, you know, I just want to have so many children. Like, I just met you one time, you know? Yeah, I, that's, like, that's weird to me. Some of the things people like, say is just, yeah, right. <laughs> You're check like, please. you know, I got to go to the check bathroom. Please. <laughs> check, please. I need to like, go to the bathroom. No, she was like, she people just, have issues, you know? That was really, that was an awkward experience. Like, she was a cool person. But past that, when I got to know her more, she was just like, like I said, I just, I didn't really like associate with her no more. She was like so just, she was like so like, I don't know what was wrong with her, but for somebody who only can brag about what other people got her, you're not doing nothing with your life, and you're telling somebody else that you want to have kids, not necessarily with me, but just in general, you know? Yeah. It's like, you want to have kids, I'm just like, well, how are you supposed to, like, who's going to take these kids? Like, what are you bringing to the table? You're talking about like, you want to meet somebody and have kids and stuff, but like, what are you, like, what are you going to do? You have, like, you, you're, you literally, I'm looking at you, you bring no value to anyone. Like, you're not, you're still living with your parents, which I don't want to, you know, down people who are living with their parents or anything like that, but you're living with your parents and not doing anything. Like, you're not in school, you're not trying to go to school, you're not working, and you're not trying to work, and your excuse for not working is, oh, everything's too far. Get your ass in the bus or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you're like, like, put some kind of effort in you. Are like, like, oh, it's too far. Like, find something closer. Like, there's, like, places all around. Like, you can probably go work that's in close enough distance for you to go there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it's just like, for you to just, it's like you're just sitting there waiting for uh, Prince Trump to come sweep you off your feet and you're not bringing nothing to the table. Like, for what? Well, I like, always say, and I've, I've been this, this way since I was pretty young. Like, I'm, I'm a deep person. My ex-husband used to make fun of me about that. We, like, if we went out to socialize and I would start talking to people because I do. Like, everywhere I go, I meet people. I love, I love to talk. I say this. If I could just, you know, make money for talking, I would be doing really damn good. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway he'd be like, oh, if you start talking to her, it's like down, going down into the ocean. It's going to get deep. My yeah. ex-husband used to say that. But one thing I've always said is why, why, you know, we, we talk about drug addicts or this, this woman who's got, you know, no, nothing going on in her life or all the stupid shit people are doing. Why? And, and that's why, like with my businesses, you know, I want to get into the teen trauma, like a mentorship type of thing for kids that are in juvenile detention and whatnot, because we are taught so much stuff, whether it's from your family or whether it's from society or whatever. Like, it, my business is called Unlearn because we literally have to do that. And, like, for this person, you know, at a certain point, you have to take responsibility for yourself and you need to work on changing it. You know, I could still be in that victim mode from having an abusive past and complain about everything going on in my life, even at the age of 45, I still could. You know, there was a reason why I was that way. And then you got to go, okay, my life is my responsibility. But like with her, you know, you don't know what went on in the household. And there is so much abuse. There is so much sexual abuse. And that is the most, like, traumatizing thing. But clearly, her parents raised her to not be her own person, to not support herself you know like could they codependent basically right mm -hmm. and like at a certain point you have to, to, to if you don't take responsibility for that that is going to be your life and clearly she's not fulfilled and you could put that out in any area whether mm -hmm. it's drug addiction whether it's whatever you know what i mean yeah but i don't want to just sit here and act like this a women basher. Yeah. <laughs> that probably sounds like it's coming up. I've been talking a lot about women. No, it's just... I'm just spinning it from another angle. And yeah, yeah, I understand. Point, I understand. Right? I just, I just want to make a, I want you to say what you I, want to say to us. I'm just not want to make taking a, anything. No, no, no. I just want to make a point out for anybody watching this. I don't want them to think, oh, he's just a woman basher. <laughs> he just hates women. Like, such a dick. Like, no, like, there's a, like, I know, like, I'm pretty sure there's other reasons why women see what a man would do for them to see, like, how, like, because there, there are some women that brings you know, value to the table. They bring financial uh, financial gain to the table. You know what I'm saying? And the last thing you want to worry about is, does this, can this man like take me on a date? Because there's a lot of dudes that are like, not shit out there. 
Like, they don't say like I said with this shit. Or like they have the money for the date and they're not going to spend it on you. That's That's been my experience. Yeah, there's yours, but there's, yeah, the, there's your experience too. Well, I but, mean, they, they have, don't, that doesn't sound right. I've been on plenty of dates where, you know, I don't go in there like, oh, you, you know, I'm getting this meal or whatever. I don't even like eating out that much. It's just not me. You know what I mean? So I'm not looking to get something for free. They pay for it. They're not struggling financially. They're in a good place. You know, uh, I, you, you, the, here's another thing though, is we draw people in, like you draw back to you with your energy. So like when I first got divorced, I attracted a lot of men who were emotionally unavailable. And I didn't realize that at the time. I was married 18 years. I had had a very tragic life before that. So I, I had never healed, never worked on myself. And so, although I did attract men, you know, their finances were fine. As a matter of fact, some of them probably had plenty of money. And, you know, they were funny, they were good looking, but they were not emotionally available. They did not want a relationship, and that makes sense. I started, I got married when I was 21. I was clearly not wanting to feel trapped, you know, but on the flip side, I'm not a casual I'm not a casual person. I'm not going to be that lady that just like, oh, I just met you, you know, let's go do whatever. You, you, you know, I, yeah. I don't know. That's just not me personally, who I am deep down inside. Yeah. I was going to say, I know some of them aren't. Some people just want to see where you are financially as well. So I don't want to make, you know, I wouldn't want to be with somebody who like, first of all, is emotionally checked out. And on top of that, you bring nothing financially to me. So it's like, what are we really doing here? So I get that. I, I want to give, like, I want to let, you know, give some, some leniency. Like, okay, you're probably doing it for that reason. So I'll give them that. But a lot of, a lot of the other times, it's just, like, their personal gain. But there's, there is, like, to get the men, there's a lot of men out there who aren't there emotionally. They're, they're trying to talk to so many different women. Yeah. They can't yeah. put 100% into one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how hard, how, I don't understand how hard it is to talk to more than one woman. I don't know how so many women, that's probably why they can't be there, like how, that's probably why they're mostly checked out for the ones who talk to multiple ones. Cause it's hard enough to talk to one woman and please one woman just to stimulate her mind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To give her the reassurance that, hey, I'm into you, uh, I want to get to know you, I want to build this, da, da, da. As much effort as it takes to put that into one woman, I don't Imagine know how like, they do five or six. Yeah, you got like really, social media stuff. You try to like five really or six. Don't. It's just like, oh my gosh. And I really don't. I guess this is going to the 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 um. Back from a break. <laughs> <laughs> We're news anchors today in El Paso, Texas. The weather bit. was seventy-two degrees with the breeze. Hot ass breeze up that shit. No, it wasn't. It was <laughs> nice. If your uh, your ass would get out of the house, what did I tell you? Go go enjoy some nature, man. Yeah, That's what. To the, uh, people, to the, the, well, yeah, I don't, I don't mean like today. I mean in general, you know, pe like kind of like we were talking yeah, about. Place people to are so not, into the electronics. There, there's. Well, I like going places with my electronics. I like to enjoy nature. Be and capture the moment with my electronics. Like my I dare stuff. you to go somewhere with no phone, no I can't. camera. With no phone, I can't do that. What's what happens? I can't communicate. Damn it. You the can one time walk my down the damn block. I'm not telling you to go out to the fucking woods with I'm no ready. phone. I walk and I slip on a, a, a oh orange pill and I hurt my ankle. I can't walk. Oh, I can't call 911. I got to crawl back on my elbows to get to my car. Well, if back. you were walking around your apartment complex, I'm <laughs> sure somebody would notice you on the floor, I hope. They'll probably anyway. walk by. How society goes, well. they'll just probably, they'll probably just freaking film me like, oh my gosh, look at this guy, <laughs> put on the internet, like, they're not helping, people that, like, yeah. worse have happened and they just record, nobody's even helping, they'll just record you and your tragedy. Right. No, no And you're me. supporting that now. I like to give you a hard time. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the topic we were talking about um, that we're going to hit on was, should we go social media in general or text messaging or all this? This is going in, in communication. Okay. I'm sure we should hit this. Hmm. Maybe you should start off. Give us some ideas. Alright. 
So I guess something relating to dating and social media is yeah. I've had I've had men, full grown men my age or close, um, message me. I say on Messenger, right? Because you know us people on Facebook in yeah, our, in, like, our it is, it is, in our forties or whatever. Like yeah. DMs, yeah, DMs whatever. Okay, okay, DM, okay. DM, yes, no. terminology. Um, be like. And then you don't know the person, you probably don't live in the same state, but they're like, I, I've had people be like, I want to get to know you. Like, I've had them say, like, a relationship. Like, that shit comes out of their mouth, or do-do-do, anyway. And, and I've even, like, talked, they've even called me on the phone after that, and no joke, like, back to that consistency thing, like, how are you going to approach a woman, you're... 40 close to 40 whatever and I'm in my 40s and you're gonna say all this stuff and have this great conversation like we have all this in common and then you're just not there and I find that a lot with men in their 40s I don't know like what the deal is with that but that's weird to me like the inconsistency pretty much well no how or you would like, approach someone that you don't know like you want to be in a relationship with them because so maybe easy, that's weird in itself it's like what we talked about earlier the point that you brought up is just so it's so easy to just contact it's so it's it's I'm sorry <laughs> i was like this feels weird because i'm going back here it feels not it feels i'm sorry i lost my train of thought it's that much easier to be confident saying something to somebody through text of any kind, silently, yeah. you know what I'm saying, it's a face-to-face, yeah. regular human interaction of, hey, how are you doing, you, look, you know, like, that whole, I mean, how that goes nowadays, I don't even know how, I don't think that should exist anymore, yeah. but just like, face-to-face -face communication, but obviously, you're way over here, I'm way over there, there's no way I'm going to be able to see you in person and say this stuff, so I'm like, on the internet, you know what I'm saying, but... As far as I, I they know. went, like, if I, yeah, I wouldn't really went weird. as far I mean, as to say... Yeah, I, like, I mean, obviously, you're not going to hop on and tell somebody that you don't know that you literally want a relationship yeah, with Yeah, that's kind of, like, overboard right there, like... I don't know, I like, why probably. somebody would do that in their 40s and not be... If you're not serious, like, I mean, it's a weird way to start a conversation anyways, but what you were saying about um, the texting... There's so much disrespect when you don't have to look somebody in the eyes. There's oh, yeah. so much. And going back to like why I loved the 90s and meeting people in person, you know, you had you had friends, people were loyal to each other, you know, maybe you were out in your little group. Like, can you imagine walking up to a female when you, there was no cell phone and being like, let's fuck. No, not going to happen. It's not going to go down well. But you can do that on a cell phone, and that's what drives me insane. Like, you don't have to look somebody in the eyes and see how your disrespect or the shit that you're saying is affecting that person. That person who most likely has been through hard times. Yeah. There's, I think people have lost the sight of... I don't know how to say this. Like, I don't want to say boundaries, but... Oh, yeah. People, like, definitely a boundary yeah, but like a lot of, even men play a part in how to speak to women they like there's 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 a lot of women that say oh dudes are thirsty but they bring it upon themselves doing this by posting if, if you're gonna post a picture of your butt hanging out breast all showing yeah. cleavage and you're just twerking and stuff like that and you expect nobody to message you expect nobody to have the 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 access they don't need your number Numbers don't ever matter these days. No, right? True. Your social media is your number. So I don't care. Like, even with your relationship, this is going beyond. But just to touch on this, even with your relationship, and you're like, oh, I can't give my number, but you have my Facebook, you have my Snapchat. It doesn't matter what form of communication is. They have communication for you, so it's the same thing to me. But I feel like a lot of men play into this to where, like, even other men call other men thirsty. Like, for example, right? I have this one, uh, this one female friend. I knew her since we were in middle school, mm -hmm. right? She went live on Instagram before, or well, recently, she went live on Instagram, and I said, uh, you know, she was on live with her, you know, her brother right there and stuff like that, okay. and she was like, you know, just live or whatever, and it was like, maybe like, fucking like three of us in there, you know what I'm saying, she never goes live, it was like three of us in there, so you know, I said, like, oh shit, she's like, you know, hey, how are you doing, you know what her brother does, hmm. oh, you thirsty, and he is alive, I said, what the, 
Just for asking how shit. you're doing, like, what the <laughs> fuck, like, and this is not like a female that, that promotes, like, I mean, that, she doesn't post provocative pictures like that, you know, she's like, right. she keeps herself And you're not up, approaching you know, her disrespect exactly. either, that's kind of weird. So, he's just like, oh, you're thirsty, I was like, Maybe he just doesn't like something about you, and that was his opportunity to take it out. He doesn't even fucking know me, I've never met, I didn't even know she got a damn brother. Maybe that's how much I know her. Like, social I just, media. I don't yeah, I'm know. Like, so I'm just like, what? I'm like, that is so. Well, I guess that's overprotective, brother, but little brother. But I'm just like, that's kind of weird. But it just even like when women get DMs and they're like posting, like like I said, she's not doing this. That's just an example of how men contribute to this. But hmm. you'll you'll dress a certain way. You're asking for certain attention. You want men to give you attention. Cause that's why you're posting this. So if you want to get all these likes and views and stuff like that, you want to feel accepted. You want to feel like, oh, um, pretty much you need like reassurance or whatever the case may be. I feel some women just do it just because they feel like, you know, I just want to share. Whatever. Everybody has their own reasons. But when you post stuff like that, you're you're putting out a certain energy that you're gonna yeah, get back. Exactly. So when you're posting all these sexy things and you don't know what kind of guys are in there, there's so many pervs and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff on the internet, and you're posting stuff like this. And you're expecting dudes to not hit you up on that type of thing, like, oh, you're sexy, hard eyes, da, 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 stuff like that. Well, I don't want to say, say hard like, eyes are a bad like thing. Message you and and be sexual with you when you're putting out a sexual energy, basically. Yeah, like so. Don't yeah. be like posting like twerking videos and showing all the, your goodies and stuff like that. And don't expect not to get not for me. I, I don't know shit. But don't expect like a couple of dick pics to get in your dang DM. You feel me? Like you didn't ask for Because you're posting, you're putting that energy out there. So you're like, oh, yeah. guys getting turned about that? Click DM. I and do they, they, have a female friend and she's close to 50. She's like, I don't know if really it doesn't matter. But she, she's white. She's got like all these tattoos. She has fake like triple D boobs. And she takes a lot of pictures with like basically in you know some in her underwear like this is barely covered and and they're obviously fake she has like a giant tattoo in the middle and it's really interesting because she posts like that all the time all the time like at least this part and you know maybe not always in her underwear but always bare from like here with a bikini on close up mm -hmm. and then we have talked we've gotten together and talked and she literally will complain about how men can't have a conversation anymore. Like, say it was you, you know, that's, or not, I'm not even going to say that because it would not be your type of thing, but some guy is just messing, messaging her. You, what else do you expect to get? Like, they're, they're like, she's like, I don't understand why men can't have a conversation. I don't understand why men are disrespectful to me. I don't understand why men are sexual. That's all they want is sex. Like, okay, I can say that because this is what I'm going to be wearing mm -hmm. on my social media. You cannot fucking say that when you're promoting it. Yeah. And I do agree with you on that. And, you know, maybe we'll get shit for it. Oh, people should be able to do whatever they want. Blah, blah. You can. You totally can. But if you're getting back what you're putting out, shut the fuck up. Yeah. You can't, you can't complain about the energy you're putting out and you're getting it back. Like, yeah. if that's the only... Like, I've seen... I've seen women that do this, they'll post half naked photos. Like I said, everybody has their own reasons, whether it's you're trying to like model, whatever the case may be. I'm, I don't like knock any of it. You know, I'm a photographer, so I'm not, not, I'm not knocking any of it, but I always look at both sides of things, you know? Right. So it's like, if you're going to put this certain energy out, they expect to get it back. But there's some, there's some women that that's all I feel like they're good for is just to look good because... No, I don't want to say it. Well, you have some more. For example, some women do all that stuff and they don't go live. No, we won't. They will talk about nothing. Those be sh shaking their ass and stuff on 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 live, like for attention to get followers and stuff like that. They have this new thing on Instagram to where you can have you can video chat with more than one person, like on live. You can have like four people. Okay. And I'm not sure how this keeps popping up on my thing because I don't be following these people, but I'll be like, oh, this person's live. I'm like, who the heck is this? You know? I click on it. I'm not following them. And it's like a dude or maybe a woman. And there's like three other people, and it's like females. They're like twerking and doing this other crazy shit. I was gonna do a reaction to this, but I'm pretty sure I was gonna get striked on YouTube. So I was like, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> but it's like that's the that's like you're, that's the like you're trying to gain people's attention by doing that. So nobody's gonna care about anything but that. And I've seen women who who've done that, and then they try to get on on live and just talk to people, and then you'll see people in the comments like twerk, shake that ass. 
let me see some. Take your clothes off. Da, da, da. It's like that's because that's the energy that you're putting out. Yeah, you can't. You know what I'm you're only you're, the only thing you're putting out is being sexual on on the internet. So you're only you're only uh, collecting energy from people who are just looking at you like that, or people like that who are just sexual. You know, so it's like you can't. I mean, they don't complain or anything like that, but it's just like. I just see like the energy you're bringing in. So it's like, complain, yeah. You yeah. know what's interesting is, and I'm not really on Instagram that much anymore. Like I did real estate for a while, so that's when I first got on there because when you're doing business like that, people are like, oh, you should have, you should be promoting through, you know, these different social media and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you know, to make sales and whatnot. So yeah, I got on sure. there. And what was really interesting, you know, I did try real estate, but um, I have my degree in health promotion and education. I have a personal training certification. So health, fitness, especially mental health, addiction, all those things, those are my interests, not selling houses. So I did it for a little while, but when I was on there, you know, I would find people following me and then I would follow these men who were personal trainers and if it you know it's, it's something in common and, mm -hmm. and i'm not gonna lie they were good looking dudes you know so, yeah, 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 yeah. they were good looking guys and and you know in good shape and all that good stuff but what i didn't know about what is that called like fans only or something i don't know okay no yeah. I, yeah i'm not getting too far into that but what's really interesting okay, is i had no idea that all of these, but there was so many guys on there that were like, yeah, they, you know, let's say they're front, like, okay, you're a personal trainer and you show little fitness things, but you're, you know, you have a lot of pictures like shirtless mm -hmm. and, and then like come to find out because I did have a few of them approach me and be like, you can get this. And I was kind of like, oh wow, all these people are basically using this fitness front for pornography or I, I don't know whatever you want to call it pictures videos whatever I don't know if that's pornography I don't know what the technical term is when it's you you know for okay <laughs> yeah, you have to have multiple people for it no, to be considered okay. that. but yeah so I was like and you know like I I mean like one or two people came and like asked me like hey do you want to purchase this and I wasn't rude they weren't rude I was just like not my thing you know so I personally don't find it attractive. I don't care how good your body is and your face and all that. If I don't know you and you're just naked, I don't personally find that attractive. Again, there's no mystery. There's no sexual tension. You're not sitting there talking to someone that you don't know with their clothes on going, what's, really, what's going on? What's going on under there? $15 a month, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so I mean, I mean, like, like you too, you know, if you found a woman attractive and you went out and you were sitting there talking and the conversation is interesting, do you not, would you not find like more tension between you two rather than just like, Hey, what's up? Let's go, you know, whatever. Yeah. Well, I meant to like. Like you said, like, uh, a communication aspect, like, yeah. as far as, like, OnlyFans, like, that goes back to how men are tricks. So all this goes back to how men are tricks. They, a lot of women have capitalized off what men would do just to either get a woman's attention or they'll just pay to see a woman, which is, I mean. A to lot which it, of men are doing it To now. each his own, like, a, a lot. lot of men, yeah, like. They'll, uh, women will promote like, oh, I do OnlyFans. You already know what the, you already know what's on OnlyFans. I don't care, I don't care if you're half naked. Yeah, well, it naked didn't take videos. me that long to figure it out. You know, I mean, it's like, yeah, you've got to have like no brain if you don't get the point. Yeah, like, but a lot more are benefiting off of men just being tricks. Like, um, I, I've never had OnlyFans. I don't plan to get OnlyFans. Not really like, not ever saying like, oh, I'm like to post my stuff to even subscribe to somebody. I just, I know what I know what's on there. Like you know right. what I'm saying? Like there's a lot of people. There's some people that don't don't do pornography. And they do certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like give you kind of information. Like hey, I want you to pay for this information type thing. Okay, that's some people do that. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't call it that though. Like yeah, I, I I'm a health educator. You know I'm I have things that I teach people. I'm not I'm sure as fuck not gonna put it on social media wording it like that. 
Like, you know, do you want help, like whether it's help with addiction, your physical body, eliminating pain, you know, all the things that I do, I would certainly not advertise it with those words. Yeah, now some people like <laughs> this. gonna take you serious. That, that's, uh, that, this day and age, that's like the way to the bag so for a lot of people. Like, some yeah. people do it like some certain ways, but a lot of people on OnlyFans and they're promoting like pornography and stuff like that. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'll subscribe oh, to my OnlyFans. Like, okay, what do you do? Like, you're just telling people to subscribe. But it's a lot of women, and when there's no context of what you do, you're just saying, "Hey, just made new posts." It's like my only fans, like, okay, this motherfucker's like half naked, yeah, shakes his ass, whatever. And then if that's your thing, then you know, go ahead. But at the same time, it's just you're lowering your value as an individual, so you can't be like, "Oh, you're showing all these guys all this stuff." And yeah, you're making cool money. This I hope you are, but it's just like Maybe. you can't expect a man who wants to. A real man who wants value from a woman, he's not going to take, at least, well, some men might not. I personally couldn't take a woman seriously with the OnlyFans. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're out there selling your body for money, you're, to me, only if you're on OnlyFans, half naked, naked, I don't care what you're doing, you're doing prostitution. Cyber prostitution is what I call it. Yeah, exactly. Cyber prostitution, because, like, you're charging a fee for a certain service to see you naked and to please other men, mm -hmm. not even, like, Physically hand to hand, but you're giving them, you know, this yeah. desire. Or I mean, yeah. maybe that might feel some way because I know strippers do that too. So I don't know if I would call that pornography. Yeah, well, not pornography, but like prostitution. You know, if you're gonna but, meet someone in a strip club, you know what they're doing up front. Like obviously, I I have a friend who has a friend who's a fitness model. You know, very attractive young guy in great shape, and he sells, you know, he sells all that and. Most of his clients are men. He's not gay, but uh, I'm not saying it would matter. I'm just saying like it's it's not his preference, but that's what he's selling. He's selling himself, and it doesn't matter which you know. And I'm not talking about sex. I'm talking about pictures and yeah, you know whatever. But but yeah, most of the money he's making is is off of men, which is kind of interesting. How would you feel if you were? <laughs> No, oh, this should be an interesting question. I'm laughing. <laughs> How would you feel if, say, you're in a relationship with a guy, right? And you guys are, you know, a couple months in or whatever like that. For some reason, you don't know this information. But you find out that he has an OnlyFans account. First of all, how many red flags do people ignore? From day one, I swear to God, when I was actively dating, and I was very clueless, I mean, I got married at 21, and by the time I got divorced at 40, like, we didn't even have cell phones when I got married, so I really didn't know all the ins and outs. I learned very, very quickly, but I didn't know. But that's the thing, is you know, even through text message, if you've never met someone, you know if it's wrong. You can feel it in your gut and you choose to ignore it. So you knew that something wasn't right. You may not have known that he was, you know, selling pictures or whatever, you know, fans, whatever the fuck it's called, but you knew something was wrong. I've, I swear to you, and every single guy that I've met, I knew something was, if, if something was off, I knew from like the moment I met that person. What if you made a lot of money off the fans though? What if you like had like, just put, and he was, like just, six he was off just of, selling pictures of himself yeah, and not like interacting. Well, not interacting. Well, on other things, I mean, you, I don't you, really. It's know like you can interact because some people like you can't mention them unless you're subscribed and you pay monthly fee. So there is some interaction because you know you gotta they're your fans, so you gotta you know respond you back know, to them and stuff like I that. I wouldn't be dating. I don't wouldn't be dating somebody who did that anyways because I'm into. I like my fascination is the mind, you know, I'm into meditation. I'm, I'm just, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, like I'm, I'm going to meet someone who's, I want to have certain things in common with like how you think and how you treat yourself and what you do. And if they're going to have stuff in common with me like that, they're not going to be doing that anyways, you know? So yeah. I don't know. I mean, it would be very <laughs> hidden to like go to meditations and different things that I do with some guy and then they're doing stuff on this. And it just doesn't go together, yeah, you know. Awesome, so, I don't know. I just I don't see that happening. Could you be friends with someone with all events? 
Sure. I don't care. I don't care if you're gay, straight, sideways, purple. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> like, like it, it, what matters to me is who someone is as a person, you know? So, I mean, if that's what you want to do, but then on the flip side, don't sit there and bitch about how men treat you. Yeah, or how people are coming at you. That's fine. Like, take ownership over what you're doing, you know? If, you, if that's what you like and that's what you want to do, it's not my life. It's like people who hate gay people. But you're not the one who's doing it. Why do you care? You know what I mean? Why yeah, can't you just sense. value someone for who they are? Yeah, we don't have a choice now. Let them live. If they want to do that, let them yeah. do that. Or just have nothing to do with them. But don't insult people. Don't put them down. Don't make life harder, you know. And now it's really sad because you can do all that stuff. I mean, it's uh, for a teenager, I don't even know what that would be like anymore because when you used to get picked on, you know, even if you got hit, like you physically got beat up, but it wasn't like on, you know, posting, 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 <laughs> Why posting. Why that shit memes? But, and I cannot and believe how many times I've heard because I do have, you know, I have a 20 year old and a 14, almost 15 year old. How many times I've heard that teenagers, pre-teenagers have actually said to people, you should go kill yourself what like what yes, is going on in your life for that even to cross your brain because you know what it's actually happening and people are actually doing it and I can't think of anything like that's wrong that's so wrong well, not to jump too much off subject I'm gonna ask you the same question I asked you but to finish what you were saying or to respond to what you were saying a lot of kids like even since I was young a lot of kids just kids are just fucking ruthless they don't give a fuck they're well, they're true. There's like there's no at home. there's yeah there's that too you know but there's like really no like when you're a kid you're just like fucking you just say whatever I remember I used to get picked on as a kid when I was in uh elementary I used to get picked on because of the pigment of my skin how dark I was and stuff by women like or girls because they weren't women <laughs> five year old but, women but girl no like we were like probably like fifth fifth grade sixth grade and they had to talk about my skin oh blacky and stuff like that you know what I'm saying so it's like. Just off that aspect, like, people are like, kids are fucking ruthless. There's like, there's no fuss here. They're like, I'll tell you, blood, honest truth, or they'll just, however they feel, they'll just say that shit. There's no, like, um... Filter. Yeah, like, there, there's no, uh, there's no courtesy on your feelings as a kid. If you dress a certain way, people are going to make fun of how you dress, your shoes, your clothes, all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it's just... It's learned, as far you know as kids, what? It's just, learned behavior. From the ages of zero to seven, yeah. your brain waves are in a state where it goes straight into your subconscious. Like if I were to say something to you right now, you can say bullshit, true. A kid can't. Your brain waves are not in that pattern yet. So anything that you're your is going on in your environment, if you live in a drug house or whatever, that shit's all going straight into your subconscious mind. So when a five year old's going to school and saying stuff like that, yeah, it was planted sure. yeah. straight into their head, which is isn't oh it doesn't make it any better for the other kid i'm not saying that you know what yeah. i mean but that's why i say unlearn that's like my motto you have to unlearn just like in the same way that we tell people uh, you know at this your life is going to be fulfilling if you get married at this age and you have kids at this age and don't forget to buy a house what if you don't fucking want a house yeah you know it's a lot of behavior for sure but i don't want to make it excuse because they're kids like you know but you went more deep into what I was actually thinking, so I'd appreciate that. But yeah, that, it, <laughs> it is like, you know, like how we like, you know, like how it's like, I saw it's like, you're like, no, but it's like, this, so that's good. Like, yeah, but it's, it is, it is learned behavior though. Like, I've never, I, I was never like that. I mean, you'll kid around with your friends in a jokingly way, you know, but it's like, it's a difference when you're being bullied and I was being bullied for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, I experienced it too. Yeah, like, I people experienced like, it too. Not when I, not so much at that age, but like. I got jumped by men when I was in high school for being Mexican, which is funny because I, <laughs> I have none. Well, it's not funny that you got me up, it's just like... No, you know, it's funny know. that I was, I was, like, the times when I was picked on, it was always for being Mexican, which I'm kind of like, okay, I mean, I have some in my heart just because of my friends and how I grew up, but yeah. I don't literally have any, you know. I don't know, maybe I should do that Ancestry.com thing. <laughs> Discover. Find out, hey, I got like 2% Mexican. I guess those beat-ups were... You know. <laughs>
Because they're, they're, they're justified now. So that's hate crime. Definitely, I'll say crime. Yeah, Sorry, but, that but you know, it's, it's uh, just what it is and how it goes. Back to the OnlyFans. I'm not sure how much time I have left on that thing, but I don't, like, for me, like you said, like, I could be friends with, with somebody who has OnlyFans, but I couldn't be in a relationship with somebody who has OnlyFans. Not because, like, they're saying, like, Let's say like, oh, because you have only, well, yes, it's because you have only fans. It's, <laughs> it's not just because, I don't want to make it sound as simple as like, because you have only fans. Yeah, it's like, I don't have, I don't, I don't have a, a that value for you as a person that we want to be with because you have only fans. It's like, you don't feel like you're somebody special to me because everybody has a piece of you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everybody knows what you look like. You're doing all this kind of stuff for your, you know? And yeah. we're talking about just the aspect of like, nudity on, on only fans. Because like I said, there's so few people who actually do different things with it but as far as like the nudity part it's like I don't right. really like I can't really value you like I walk into the shoot with you and we're taking pictures of the world social media together we're all hugged up and stuff and you got all these guys in your other picture comments like you, you're like you know you got all this booty pictures and all this other kind of stuff like all on your timeline is a picture of us you know what I'm saying just, <laughs> all like, together I, I just feel like like first of all I would just personally feel stupid because like you're asking for all this attention for all these other guys and then you're like, you know, oh, here's my boyfriend. Like, they don't care. Like, nobody really cares anyway, but it's just like, it seems like you don't care because it's like, yeah, what's the, what's like the, what's care. so special about yeah. being with you if everybody else shares you too? You know what I'm saying? Like, We've known each other for a while and I, I don't see you with somebody like that either. Just right. because, like, you yeah. take the things that you're doing seriously, yeah. you know, your, your son, your relationship with your son, I, I mean, you're just deeper than that, which is interesting because I'm, I'm sure if people don't know you that well and they just see your stuff, you know, and you do some like cute little funny things like oh, when you're spraying that perfume, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're not going to know that aspect of you. They don't know that about you. They just see you, you know, but when you do actually know you, I don't either see you with somebody like that because... I don't know. You're looking for more in your life, and so am I, and that's probably why I wouldn't either. But, well, one reason, obviously, I've got a lot of different reasons, but. Yeah, yeah nice. I can be friends with them, though. I have probably been friends with them, you know? Yeah. I'm cool with it, but just like on a more personal kind of, you know, relationship, I just. I, I, w I would have to have somebody that I have a certain respect for, and that, to me... That's a big just, thing for you. Yeah, like, I have to... That's the respect, word I was looking and, for, respect. Respect. Yeah. It's like, I have to have a certain respect for you. Not saying, like, oh, I don't just sound nasty. Like, I just don't respect people with OnlyFans. Because that's like me saying I don't respect strippers. Like, you do what you do, but it's just like, I won't have a certain value for you as I will for someone who doesn't do that. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I would just... That's the best I can... Yeah, like I, like I said, though, I'm just... Gotta have somebody else who had a different point of view than I did, you know? So that way it's not just a one-sided conversation, you know? I, and I'm open-minded, so I'm open to, you know, to what you're saying. So I'm not just, oh, I don't want to hear what you have to say. It's my way the highway. It's only my point of view. That way. No, it's not like that. It's like, no, I like to hear I everybody. I'm, I'm an open-minded individual, so I wouldn't mind hearing the other side of the, of the coin. But exactly. I think I need to have, like, I'm trying to get somebody who I know that has all the fans to come on this podcast with me to tell me like how it is having on that's the one okay, thing I want. Okay. so you could yeah you I think that'd be interesting have, like, that, that could be more of an interview yeah. maybe than a back and forth I don't know yeah like a more in depth to like explain to me like you know how did you get into it why yeah. did you do it how does it feel how is it like you know going yeah. in depth and you know stuff like that so hopefully this person says yes but oh you have somebody in mind yeah no, Okay. I know, right. so I have somebody in mind, but we'll see. We'll see what they say. That that would be a good one, though. I I feel like should that be a good. Well, one. you know, if they're proud of their business, this that's business promotion. If they say no, that shows you right there that they don't even believe in what they're doing. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna, I'll already let them know. Like, you come here, you can promote it. What is your name on there? How can they find you? Your Instagram? I'm like, I have nothing against that. You know, do you? It's just like I just want to hear that side of the story. You know, tell you like me more idea. about you know. That's Cause I'm not idea. knowing, and it's I've never asked this individual these kind of questions, you know. I just you know stay. I was like, oh yeah, okay, that's cool. Yeah. You know, we're cool. You know what I'm saying? We done photo shoots together, stuff like that. But I never got into deep to that conversation. 
I don't think I, I don't even know how to start that conversation. Just like on some random tell shit, you know? Tell me about it. I was, yeah, like, tell me about it. Like, you know, like, but I feel that'd be like, as far as with the podcast, I think that'd be like a good topic to hit on, you know? So, yeah, yeah come up with some other For stuff sure. here and there. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of good things to talk about nowadays, you know? Yeah. Well, this has been episode one of DC Podcast. Episode one, thank episode you. Episode one, thank you for coming. Well, it's good to be here. We'll see y'all next episode. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right. We're going home. Pajama time. Okay, I have to say this though. <laughs> On camera? No. Oh. <laughs>